Hello everyone and welcome to Extra Math. Today we are going to find the solution of the following equation. Here we have a square root and here we have square root. So we can write two as a square root, but we know that two equals two square root of four. So the equation becomes square root of two minus square root of two all to the power x plus square root of two plus square root of two all to the power x equals two square root of four to the power x. We can now divide the whole equation by square root of four to the power x to get the following four. Here we can put two minus square root of two and four under one radical sign and under one power. So we will have a square root of two minus square root of two all over four to the power x plus the same for the second term equals two one. So the equation becomes square root of two minus square root of two over four all to the power x plus square root of two plus square root of two over four all to the power x equals one. Now we have to simplify this term and this term. Let's begin with two minus square root of two over four. It can be written as two over four, which is half minus square root of two over four. Then we can take one over two as a common factor. So two minus square root of two over four equals one over two into one minus square root of two over two. But square root of two over two equals two cosine pi over four. So two minus square root of two over four equals two half into one minus cosine of pi over four. We can write pi over four as two multiplied by pi over eight. Recall that the double angle formula for cosine is cosine two alpha equals two one minus two sine square alpha. So cosine of two into pi over eight is one minus two of sine square pi over eight. So two minus square root of two over four equals two half into one minus bracket one minus two sine square of pi over eight. One and minus one can be canceled out. Minus and minus is a plus, and here half multiplied by two is one. Therefore, two minus a square root of two all over four equals two sine square of pi over eight. So this term is equal to sine square of pi over eight. With the square root, it will be sine of pi over eight because sine of pi over eight is positive. Then we get square root of two minus square root of two over four equals to sine of pi over eight. Using the same logic, we can find that square root of two plus square root of two over four equals to cosine of pi over eight. Now back to our original equation. This is the last result we found. Square root of two minus square root of two over four all to the power x plus square root of two plus a square root of two all over four power x equals one. But we found that square root of two minus square root of two over four equals to sine of pi over eight. And here we have power x and the square root of two plus a square root of two over four is cosine pi over eight. And here we have power x. So the equation becomes sine power x of pi over eight plus cosine power x of pi over eight equals one. So this is the last form of our equation, sine power x of pi over eight plus cosine power x of pi over eight equals to one. But we know that for any angle alpha, sine square of alpha plus cosine square of alpha equals to one. So setting alpha equals to pi over eight, we will get sine square of pi over eight plus cosine square of pi over eight equals to one. So here comparing the last two results, we will get x equals two. Therefore, we do know one solution that will work, which is x equals two. Thank you for watching.